Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Anna, and on this channel, I'm sharing our journey of learning how to turn our home into a homestead. Welcome to my surprise video. I don't even know what you would really call this. I am getting ready to go to HOA, and I'm super stoked. I thought that I would bring you guys along. I'm not a traveler. I have been on an airplane once, and that was about five years ago for my, when I got married. And we went to Hawaii and spent the time over there with my sister. And sorry if my eyes are all wonky, like I'm not used to using my cell phone, but I have my camera packed. So I apologize if I'm not in contact with you. I'm trying, I'm not even entirely sure where my camera is on my phone, it's somewhere over there. But anyways, so we are getting ready for the trip. I am currently ketovore, and I don't wanna spend a fortune in Virginia <laughs> on restaurants and things like that. I have a uh, single hotel room and no, no way to cook and they have a fridge. So, we are preparing, where's it at, with these. I am gonna cook one up in the morning and I'm gonna eat it before I get on the plane and that will tie me over for pretty much the entire day. I won't really have to worry about any food and then I'm gonna be packing up five more steaks to bring along with me. So that will get me through um, basically the entire HOA trip for the most part. So I'm pretty excited about that. That was a, kind of a good idea on my part. I called ahead to the hotel. They said that they do have a, a mini fridge in my room, mini fridge and a microwave. I don't use a microwave, so that's irrelevant, but I do not mind one bit eating a steak out of a Ziploc bag. I do it all the time at work. So that's kind of my plan with that. I'm just gonna bring a bunch of food and that way if I do end up meeting up with anybody, uh, you know, if we go end up going out for a meal or something like that, like I can go, but I don't have to do that every single meal of the time that I'm there because that would be ridiculously expensive. So I have these here beautiful ribeyes that I'm going to be cooking up ahead of time and these ones I got on some ridiculous sale. <laughs> I got these things so cheap it was not even funny and that's why I stocked up and I've just been eating one of these things pretty much every single day since I got them. <laughs> My husband's been enjoying them as well like we went kind of hog wild because these things are these steaks were basically as cheap as, almost as cheap as ground beef when I got them. And it was like a super special, like secret sale that they had going on at Fred Meyer near me. So I, I stocked up big time. I didn't stop anybody else from getting them. I didn't buy the rest or buy the store out, don't worry. But I definitely went back several times for the week that they were on sale. I even sent my kid to ones that he was going to down south. We, we really hooked it up on that one. So I just thought I would bring you along and show you kind of the evening before I'm getting everything packed up. I'm Googling all of the things from TSA, making sure that I don't want to get any hiccups at the airport because I don't want to, I'm, I'm super paranoid. I don't want to have any issues when I'm there. So I am going to finish packing. I am going to finish everything that I'm doing and then I will see you guys back here at some point tomorrow and I will resume the travel vlog. After all of that travel, I finally made it to my hotel room, motel room, whatever. Um, and so I think now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try and book it. And I'm told that there's a grocery store about two blocks down the road. So I'm probably gonna hoof it over there, see what they have and call it a night. I'm pretty darn exhausted. <laughs> I It's 8.03 where I'm at here. And I left my house at like six o'clock this morning. So been a long day a lot of traveling but it's been good I was nervous not you know I didn't have any hiccups or anything like that so I'm pretty stoked one thing that I wanted to share with you guys because earlier on in the video I wasn't sure how I was gonna actually transport a bunch of steaks and it seemed kind of weird that I'd be able to do that through airport but there was no issue like they searched my bag because it looked weird on camera and I was like oh it's just a bunch of ribeyes and so she opened it up she looked at it, she's like yeah okay that's good and then I was just about my merry way so I just put it inside of my uh, lunch bag that I use sometimes for work. And I put it in the freezer for, I put it in the fridge overnight and then I put it in the freezer 
uh, for like an hour or so before I left and everything is still nice and cold in here. I'm super excited. Um, I just put it inside here and then I just put it inside of my bag and brought it to the airport with me. I think that's about it for this vlog. I kind of just wanted to share with you guys my excitement before the whole excitement of it began. So I think I'm probably gonna end up posting this video in the morning. I'm gonna attempt to figure out, I have a new editing software and a new computer. And so I need to figure that out. And I'm gonna try on this vlog to get that one figured out. And if I do get that figured out, you guys are gonna see this one Thursday morning, which is tomorrow morning. And that is the morning that I get to meet off Doug, grid with Doug and Stacy. I'm taking their fermentation class and I'm super pumped about that. So if I have any way or any way to share any of that with you guys, I will. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna go and hit the streets and explore Front Royal Virginia. Mm -hmm.